Dathlos. So Dathlos saying regarding Canada, what would be crazy in Canada is a conservative party with a bloc Quebecois opposition. I think that would be great, right? I what would be amazing in Canada would be if the People's Party of Canada got a couple of seats, right? I want to see the People's Party of Canada enter Parliament. I want to hear their voice in Parliament, right? I think what's going to happen is the Conservatives are going to get a. They would have if because the Conservatives are full on Zionist. The Liberals are Zionist as well, but the Conservatives are crazy Zionist, right? So they're all in for World War Three, defending Israel, right? That's going to make them lose votes. If the Conservatives weren't so effing Zionist, they would have. They would definitely get a super majority. Like they could have done whatever they wanted to, right? But they're dumbass Zionists or Zionist puppets, and that's what Zionists are. They're so stupid, right? And their puppets are even more stupider than Zionists, right? Dumber than Zionists, right? They sacrificed a super majority because they came out for supporting Zionists, right? Supporting Israel's genocide in Gaza. Then they're full on for Israel's genocide in Gaza. So are the liberals, but they pull back a little bit. They realize it's not working out well, and that would be their. Uh, the thing that separates them from the conservatives, right? They would have got a super majority. Bloc Quebecois most likely is going to gain a lot of the liberal seats in Quebec. Again, ideally for me, I want to see the People's Party. Uh, Dathlos says People's Party is the pro trucker party, right? You can call it the the mainstream media called it the pro trucker party. I call the People's Party the ones. Who abided by informed consent, okay, bodily autonomy, and upheld the Nuremberg Code. That's who the People's Party is, right? So a party, Maxime Bernier, the leader of a party that went to jail for Canadians to uphold, unbelievable, right? Uphold bodily autonomy, informed consent, the right to travel. In Canada right for Canadian the right to travel in your country in our country and stood by the Nuremberg Code and they put him in jail and the mainstream media would call that the pro trucker uh, party right the the right wing party Maxime he's so right wing he he, he abides by the Nuremberg Code he he's He's pro bodily autonomy, informed consent. What is ingrained in our healthcare system, by the way? I know this because my partner is a nurse, right? That's number one informed consent. First, do no harm. Bodily autonomy. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's ingrained. That, that's ingrained in our country. Should have been. But every member of parliament, they were pro taking that away from us. And remember, this whole parliament, including Polivier and the conservative stuff, they gave two standing ovations to a Nazi in parliament last year, right? Horrendous, 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 horrendous. Uh, Lemony, do we uh, do you have more more than two parties in Canada? Yeah, we got the conservatives, the liberals, the Greens, the Bloc Quebecois, the NDP, and the People's Party of Canada. Those are the six main parties people's party of canada is gaining ground hopefully more it will gain ground we'll see uh hopefully they're they're polling at the same as the greens right or they were polling the same as Greens. they actually got more votes than the greens in the last elections but they didn't get any any seats because the greens are consolidated in one area right so we got a bunch of parties but it's really a two-party system right now three parties well no there's four parties but liberal and conservatives are the main two party and they're both garbage the ndp is horrendous horrendous i try not to spoil realism yeah that lost Canada honored like three separate Nazis under anti-communism memorials yeah no. Canada let in 
from what I understand, as soon as they gave standing ovations to Nazis, everyone started looking to the history of Canada and Nazism, right? And Nazi regime. And they found out that after World War II, at the end of World War II, right, the Canadian government was so anti-communist that all Nazis had to do when they flew over to Canada to seek Canadian citizenship, they had to show their swastikas to prove that they were Nazis and they were admitted in. A few thousand Nazis, full-blown Nazis, were given landed, grammar, uh, landed immigrant status and citizenship in Canada and distributed across Canada, many of them in Alberta, right? Where uh, Christina Freeland, that Nazi, is second power in Canada. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Ah, uh, real zoom. We're the slim, real slim. Chicho, please stand up. <laughs> Can't rap or shit. Lemonade sounds good. It seems like the uh, the us, the U.S. are the only different in Europe. We also have more parties. Yeah, the U.S. is two party system, a uniparty really. It's really one party, a party that's against the citizens of the United States. Right. That looks mad. It would be nice to not have uh, red versus blue here in the U.S., man. Yeah, it would be amazing if you guys had a multi-party system. That looks. I think it's Alberta with a conservative NDP government. No, uh, Alberta has a conservative. Yeah, the conservatives and NDP. Uh, NDP had it previously in Alberta. They had never gotten control before, and when they got in, and NDP is pure fascist, like to totalitarian psychopath i i've voted ndp in the past for multiple elections i voted ndp and then when they got into power they went insane tyranny fascist to the core low iq red rats vomit inducing man their diarrhea <laughs> literally diarrhea they're some of the most vile people you'll ever meet in your life because they come across as, oh, we really care for you. But at the same time, they're killing you. Unbelievable. NDP is absolutely vomiting. So they got onto Alberta, fucking destroyed the province, and the conservatives came in, and the conservatives in Alberta are doing some really good work, right? They're coming out and ingraining bodily autonomy, informed consent in their constitution, the Alberta Charter now and uh, a lot of good stuff there's still issues there but alberta is doing it right bc is ndp vomit induced i'm surrounded by diarrhea <laughs> diarrhea brains low iq diarrhea brains Di low iq diarrhea brain red rats <laughs> like it's it's like the seismic scale it's an order of magnitude 10 10 10 10 10 higher 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 it's crazy uh, mv tuber what's next we got today we got the we got roasted vegetables i got uh carrots carrots beets beets um uh, well i got uh what do you call it tomato garden tomatoes i put in there too Okay, and we got these things. I forget what these are called. We got some turnip here too. Turnip and turnip and these two guys. They're two different things. Super yummy. I cooked these up. I like. I was cooking for the first two, two and a half hours this morning, three hours this morning, starting at six, and some uh, potatoes. Really yummy again eat well best investment you can make in your life educate yourself and eat well you like good food don't eat too much that means exercise too okay 